Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Uh, today is Monday view and we're viewing the Castle Art 120 golds. Um, we have recently received like received these into the corner so I have done a full review of them recently as well as all the testing and everything else. So we're not going to do the testing over again. However, we will go over the testing results from last time. So let's see here. So as you can see, we have a really good selection of yellows into our dark yellows, our peach tones into our orange tones, and then into our reds. We've got some lighter reds here, but some really um, vibrant dark reds as well as well as the uh, red, deep red violets. I'm going to switch you over to the close-up camera so you can see a little bit better. Uh, and then we have our um, pink tones here into our gray tones. We've got a couple of um, gray purples here, like uh, gray lavender, uh, which is oyster, and then a deeper one, which is old rose. And that's really close to a uh, grayed pink. This is, uh, the sepia light is a very, very light pink, uh, pink, brown, gray color. And then we have our red violets and our violet, uh, red violet purple colors. And then we have our blue violet purple colors. And then we have our light blues into our dark blues. And then we have our light greens into our dark greens and into our brown greens here. Uh, these two here are, are the um, deeper aquatic colors. And then we start into our browns. We don't have a lot of those yellow browns. I think the closest one we have is the terracotta light uh, and the yellow ochre. So those tanny, light tanny browns are, are kind of a little missing from here. Uh, we do have our red browns and into our dark browns, then into our gold colors. So this is green gold and then earth green. And then we go into our grays, and then we do have a silver in here um, somewhere. I think it's graphite light that has a bit of a silver fleck in it. And then, of course, our, our black and our white. And as you can see, they blend very nicely on this cardstock. I was able to color the entire thing and get all the blends in there. We did do a testing page, so our water testing uh, passed the water testing. It passed the smudge test. It did do the three color gradient as well as the rainbow. Uh, we were able to blend with both the blender pencil and the blender pen, and it did erase quite easily. So this was doing it very lightly this was a medium uh, layer, so if I had layered three or four times, and this was a heavy-handed layer, and it did erase most of them. The Amazon price for these when they're not on sale um, for the case, and that's what I have is the case, is about $75, and the tin is about $65. Now that fluctuates and changes constantly, so keep an eye on them. I know the tin currently is on sale, um, but keep an eye on the prices and uh, you can probably get them at a really good price. Uh, they do range between 55 and 65 cents a pencil, which is about a mid-range mid price, which isn't too bad. Um, they say that they're uh, waterproof capability, which we have proven on our water swatch that that is uh, definitely something that it does, that they're smear proof and it doesn't smear. Uh, I don't know about high light fast or acid free because I don't worry too much about that information. I have not had a lot of breakage with them. I have had one pencil uh, that broke in my sharpener. They do seem very easy to sharpen. They are an oil-based pencil instead of a wax-based. Cast Castle Arts um, Regular is a wax-based pencil. A wonderful selection of, of colors, a really good um, ability to blend and color um, on this paper. 
I have been having some issues uh, with certain colors trying to blend on a different, uh, a, a higher um, numbered cardstock, so a little bit toothier, and they don't seem to blend as well on the toothier paper. I've used them a few times and I've colored several things with them and they color beautifully. So we're going to color in Art Matters and we're going to start with Make Good Art. This is the next chapter to our book and I have to figure, oh there it is, I need, I need my, my, my big one, <laughs> not going to say it. So we're starting on Make Good Art. This is the next chapter in the book. I'm going to put my clip on here so it stays open. Let's fold that down. And it says, I escaped from school as soon as I could when the prospect of four more years in forced learning before I become a writer. I wanted to be... Before I become the writer I wanted to be was stifling. So he didn't like going to school, but in order to be a writer, he needed to go to school. So we're going to color him in his uniform, his school uniform, I assume, uh, or his work uniform, I'm not quite sure. But we will color him with his regular hair and that sort of thing. Uh, without being the woodman. <laughs> so we're going to start with some blue for his pants. So we're going to start with indigo light in our dark areas. Now because this is not coloring book paper, uh, you may find that you don't have the ability to get as many layers on there as you would want to. So it's best to start with your darkest color and work up from there so that you can you don't have the prospect of not being able to get your shadows in because you've put too much color on the paper. So I always put my shadows in and that way I know they're in there and the lighter colors can sit on top and blend in. And that way if I only can do two colors, I can choose a color that is just a little bit lighter than the darkest color here and work my way from there. I have found with this book, even though it isn't a coloring book, that uh, it does hold the color quite well and you can build up color on it if you use a really light hand. So try to keep your hand light and you should be able to get that color built up in there. Alright, so there's our dark blue. So that is indigo light. And then we're going to go a couple of steps lighter and we're going to go with primary blue. And as you can see, it's still a dark enough blue to do, say, a denim kind of color. But it blends into that shadow blue quite nicely. And as long as you have a light enough hand, you can try to get enough layers on there to eliminate the white. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Uh, tonight we will be uh, going live with two hours of coloring on a page that is terrifying to me because the people in the page, and it's, it's a huge challenge to me and I, I am definitely going to do my best with it because it is a Ruth Sanderson picture and we will be coloring that when she comes to visit. So, uh, yeah, tonight we will be coloring that. And uh, you're not going to want to miss tonight's video be or tonight's live stream because uh, I'm going to have a little bit of information. We have hit 
2,500 subscribers. So I'm going to have a bit of information on uh, things that are going to be uh, coming about from that. And that's a hint. I'm not going to go any further with the hint. But uh, a lot of you know me, so you know where that hint is going. So uh, tonight I will go through some information on that. And of course, a thank you for all of you who have subscribed to the channel and are active in your subscription. I appreciate it. I appreciate all my subscribers. And thanks to Catherine giving um, many, many gift memberships. I have been able to hit uh, 50 uh, members, which has given me um, another emoji. So if you are a member, you have uh, some new emojis that you get to play with because I went through and changed a bunch of them when it notified me that I can add a new one. So if you are a member and you want to play with and you enjoy playing with the emojis, take a look at them. Uh, you may be pleasantly surprised at some of the new ones. I tried to make them a little more useful than the old ones were. All right, just going back through with the indigo, just filling in a few more of the dark areas where I feel that there'd be a little bit darker. Now, when you go over a dark pencil with a light pencil, of course, your dark pencil color does get lightened up a little bit. So if you find that your dark color has been lightened too much, just go over it again with your dark color. Just do it really lightly, and if the paper allows it, it will let you blend that color in to darken it up a little bit. All right, so there's his pants. For his shirt, we're going to go with Fethel. Uh, I always say it wrong. Fethel Green. And we're going to do his dark colors with that. And I know his shirt is probably white, but... I want it to have more color. These are the movements of the shirt as he runs, as he's undoing it and untucking it. You know, have you ever seen your kids come home from school and they have to take off their school clothes before they can go outside and play? That's where my brain is uh, visualizing for... <laughs> He's ripping off all his school attire so that he can go and write. And of course my camera's not picking up this green very well, but Let's turn on the light. Maybe it'll pick it up better then. That's a little bit better. It likes the the little light that I stole from my hubby. Well, I won't say I stole it. He did give it to me and told me to try it out. I just haven't given it back because <laughs> I'm still trying it out. So this is a bit of a blue-green, but it's a nice dark color, and it will lighten. The blue will lighten up in it when I go over it with the lighter green. And it will blend into that lighter green giving us more of a dark green. Oh, Mr. Choo Choo says hello. Alright, I think we're okay for the dark areas. I've brought it out far enough. I'm going to fill this area down here. 
where it's still tucked into his pants. Alright, and then we're going to go in with um, Castle Green Light. And we're just going to blend right into that darker green. Lightening it up a little bit. Blending it out. I think I need a little bit more of that green up in here. Yeah. That'll do it. So I know that um, I explained to you guys last last week what I'm going to be doing with the Art Matters instead of doing a secondary video. And the reason for that is just because I don't want to inundate you guys with a ton of videos in one day. And for me to record all those videos is a bit uh, difficult as well. So I hope you guys don't mind doing it this way. It doesn't take away from the art matters and it uh, gives you guys something to watch that isn't alive. So if you choose to color along, you can slow it down, speed it up, you know, that sort of thing. Put me on chipmunk mode. I don't mind. I, I, I put myself on chipmunk mode, so... <laughs> I do have a tendency if I'm watching for something or re-watching for something to answer something I will put myself on chipmunk mode just uh, because I don't like my own voice but I need the information. Sometimes I, I put it on chipmunk mode and then put the, the captions on so I can't even hear myself. <laughs> just saying. Oh, I missed his sleeve there. It's all right. The cuff of his sleeve. All right. Now we're also going to do his tie with the blue. We're going to put the dark blue in the stripes here. And then the light green in the rest of it. So now we're we're putting the light green. We need to put a little bit of the dark green for those shadowy areas where the tie is bending and being all shadowy. Alright. And this is the back of the tie. And then we're going to do the light green. Just like we did on his shirt. On some of these wider strips, we may go through with the lighter blue. And fill that in as well. I 
think so. Now for his shoes, we're going to take um, that's the right one. We're going to start with earth green. for the shoe color itself. And then we're going to add some black for the bottoms. My black is very tiny. This is the one that I, I did have some issues with sharpening. And it was just one issue. I tried to sharpen it and it decided, nope, I don't want to sharpen. Now I'm going over the earth grain with warm gray light. So I still want to maintain that brown, but I want to put in some highlight. And then we've got our skin tones. So we're going to start off with rose old rose. Make sure that I'm uh, still on camera there. Should have checked with the shoes because, you know, and his hands. And I think I need to show up. Need to sharpen that a bit. Because these fingers are very small. And then this hand here as well. Alright, and then we're going to go with the apricot light right over top of the rose gold and it's not ideal but it will have to do for these small areas and the fact that you can't get more than one or two colors on there. Alright, and then of course we've got his pen. I'm going to give him a blue pen. And then we're going to take redwood. And we're just going to fill in the ground area here. Like he's running on the floor. Give him a floor structure to run on. I'm going to press a little bit harder in the shadow area there. And fill that in. Now for his hair, we have him normally a bit of a, a redhead. So let's start with Brilliant Yellow. And this will be the last little bit that we do is his hair. And he's going to go back to our wonderful little redhead. So we start off with brilliant yellow and then we go in with some marigold. I'm 
in our shadowy areas here, giving it a few different bits of that orange. don't know why he just reminds me of a redhead I don't know why <laughs> and then we're going to go in with uh, no not terracotta Chinese orange and I'm going to sharpen this hopefully get it to a really fine point there we go now I used a hand sharpener for that because it gave me a really, really fine point. The um, hand sharpeners give me a little bit more control uh, if I don't break the pencil for that choice on whether I want that to be really, really fine without eating three quarters of the pencil or if I want it to be a little bit duller. My worst thing with the electric sharpeners is that they eat a lot of my pencil. And it's a waste of pencil. All right, now we're just going to take that yellow again. So this is the brilliant yellow. And I'm just going to go over it blend that all in like so and there we have our art matters finished again it says I escaped from school as soon as I could when the prospect of four more years of enforced learning before I'd become a writer I wanted to be, before I became the become the writer I wanted to be was stifling. I cannot read today, obviously. It says, <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to get it right this time, I promise. I escaped from school as soon as I could. When the prospect of four more years of enforced learning, of enforced learning before I'd become a writer I wanted to be, was stifling. And of course, I still messed it up. I'm terrible. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm going to switch you over to the main camera here so you can see a better. Uh, our wonderful, wonderful fellow escaping from school to run and write. So we will be moving on to the next page. And I did not move my... Oh, dear. Oops. Let's see how bad is it. That's not too bad. I didn't put my separator in there <laughs> so I was a little bit concerned that it was going to move everything over here so it moved a couple of the words over and a little bit of this so I'll take an eraser and I'll erase that but this is our next page so we will be doing that on next Monday during Monday view uh, because art matters and your imagination can change the world. This is a book uh, written by Neil Gaiman and illustrated by Chris Riddell. These uh, are the, the, view, the pencils we're viewing today and we're going to be using this week is the Castle Art Gold 120. Uh, and these are an oil-based pencil. They are water resistant. They are smudge resistant. And they are not overly expensive. They're about a mid-range um, price point. They blend beautifully. You can definitely put uh, colors together to m create colors. They do do the rainbow blend. Uh, and they do blend very nicely with the Caran d'Ache blender as well as with a um, finesse blender, a, a blender pen. All right, guys, with that, I would like to say thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you this evening for um, the Monday Live, where we will be coloring in uh, 
Ruth Saunderson's new book, Grayscale Fantasy, and uh, we will be coloring the page with the parrot on it. Until then, always remember to like, comment, and subscribe to any YouTube artist that you enjoy, and never forget to remember, relax, color, and stay safe, everyone. Until next time, bye-bye for now.